In the previous lesson, you learned how to add transitions and a lower third title to your project. In this lesson, you'll learn how to add effects and enhance the look of your movie. Start by parking the playhead over the Sabercat flyby clip in the timeline. On the far right side of the toolbar, open the effects browser. You can preview any effect in the viewer by skimming over each thumbnail. Skim over the artifacts effect. This one looks pretty good. To apply this effect, drag it over the Sabercat flyby clip in the timeline, and when you see a plus sign appear, release your mouse. Now open the inspector by clicking the inspector button in the upper right of the interface. Click the film strip button to reveal the video inspector. The controls for changing the effect appear at the top. Let's change the position to the left and the opacity to 30%. You can either enter a value or use the slider. To make this clip seem more like a memory or flashback, we can add another effect to this clip. Locate the Stylize category in the Effects Browser and scroll down until you see the Photo Recall effect. Skim the thumbnail to preview it, then add it to the clip. In the Inspector, change the Blur to 80, the Separation to 100, and the Scale to 75. Move your playhead back to the beginning of the clip and play it back. I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there, and thought, wow, that must be incredible. Let's skim over the liftoff clip and click once in the gray area to park the playhead over it. Rather than repeating all those steps to apply the same effects to this clip, we can copy and paste just the attributes we want. Select the Sabercat flyby clip and press Command C to copy. Then select the liftoff clip, and from the edit menu, choose Paste Attributes. The Paste Attributes window appears with visuals showing you the clip that you've copied the attributes from and the clip you're about to paste them to. The items that will be pasted appear with check marks next to them, allowing you to control what items get pasted. Let's turn off the Photo Recall and also Volume, as I don't want the volume levels from the other clip pasted to this clip. Now click Paste. The shot is still looking a bit bland, so let's stylize it a bit more. Click once on the clip to select it. In the Effects Browser, select the Light category, then locate the Streaks effect. Skim over the thumbnail to preview it. If a clip is selected in the timeline, double-clicking the Effect thumbnail will apply it to the clip. This method is faster than dragging the effect onto the clip. Use the on-screen controls to change the streak angle. In the Inspector, increase the threshold by clicking inside the input field and entering 0.88, and pressing Return. Click the color arrow next to the color chip and choose a yellow orangish color. I don't want the color too saturated, so move the eyedropper toward the right side of the color picker. Play the clip back to see how it looks. It's looking awesome. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to use Final Cut Pro's color correction tools to fix problems with exposure and color in your shots.